Hi, my mapes. So we are back for chapter three. Um, so in chapter one, we went through the grounds and went to the house. Mm -hmm. Chapter two, we entered the house. And died a lot of times. Died a lot. Uh, made our way to the basement. Yes. And now we are in the basement. Yes. And we are in chapter three of the House of Danger. So let's see what happens, Amanda. Get started. Okay. The Rescue. Chapter 3. You're still not sure what's really going on in this place. You were already freaked out by the creepy stuff you saw outside the Marsden house. And the discovery of actual spirits from beyond the grave inside the house has only made you more on edge. You steal your nerves and remind yourself that you're not just an aspiring detective, you're a psychic investigator. You eat spirits from beyond the grave okay. for breakfast. Okay. Mm, Calm that, down. That's there. a little much. Cool. Not really, but the point is that you feel a surge of confidence. You can do this. At any rate, you've come way too far to turn back now. So all you can do is hope that the depths of the house hold some insight to the mysterious nightmares that have plagued you for weeks and drew you into this modern architecture house of horrors in the first place. But the elevator, which all your hopes rest on, is totally trashed. The last person to use it must have really hated elevators. <laughs> Based on the scratch marks on the walls, they might have sharp claws too. A strange sensation now washes over you. Your head spins, you lose your balance, and you fall to your knees. Although you don't quite black out, you're overwhelmed by visions as your consciousness leaves your body and travels through the house's lower reaches on mind power alone. You drift downward through a meeting room full of huge shadowy figures and a laboratory stocked with equipment. Continue story card 61. Your awareness projects deeper under the estate. You finally come to a jail cell. Your mind can penetrate to see who is inside, but a wave of anguish emits from it like a heat in the, of the sun. You sense that the person trapped inside is responsible for what you've encountered so far, and you could you could help with and could help with your next encounter. Draw clue seventy six to discover your goal. Should be the bottom, I think. Well, not the bottom. Chapter three, goal. Rescue the prisoner you sensed from your psychic project projection. Okay, so we do want to go there. Your mind joins your body again as though swiftly swapping back into place. It takes you a moment to get your bearings. You're in your own body, in an elevator, in a spooky house that you somewhat regret ever setting foot inside. Somewhat? somewhat. Just a little bit? <laughs> you check the panel and find all the buttons have been pried off except two. They might be the only active basement levels. Of course, it's also possible they're just the floors what, that whatever wrecked this elevator wants to lure you to. With a whoosh, the elevator doors briskly close. We can press the button for the sub-basement two and go to story card 71, or press the button for sub-basement three and go to 78. I feel like we should start with the upper. Sure. And go deeper. Okay. So 71? Sure. <laughs> Sub basement two seems like the safer bet. That makes me feel like it's not. <laughs> yeah, if this if this is taught us anything, it's probably yes. not. False sense of security. That's how we felt with the violin playing chimpanzee. Okay. It just lured us, and then look very, what happened. Very bad idea. Yep. At the very least, it's one less flight of stairs to climb back up if things go horribly wrong and you need to flee back up to the surface. True. Makes me feel like that's what we're going to need to Probably. do. Probably. The elevator opens into, into an administrative office. What is his basement? Yeah, what is going on? So he He's was the warden a of a prison. Cell, an yeah. admin office. So he was a warden of a prison, and I don't understand like what they have going on down here other than some spooky science lab. And then they have administrative offices? Like, what was, is this? Like? Was his basement the jail for the town? I don't understand. That's weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, just as you enter the room, a television monitor crackles to life. We talked about this oh, in chapter one. You know yeah. how I don't feel about how I feel about television monitors. On the screen mm -hmm. is a video of a haggard man in a lab coat. There's a lab in the basement, correct? Mm -hmm. That's what we learned. This goes back to my man. Haunted Hill reference from chapter one. I feel very uneasy about these doctor situations. Don't like it. The camera pans up until his face fills the screen. Mm -mm. If you can hear this, your life is in danger, he says. 
My former assistant has locked me up in the detention cells and is using all our discoveries for evil. You must help me escape. If we don't stop her, the video feed cuts off. So that must be the guy. I'm hoping that that's the guy that we need to rescue. Yeah, that makes sense to me. There's a closed door on the far wall and an open, uncovered air duct that you could easily fit into. And then we have a lovely picture of the man on the screen. Oh, he's a little crazy. Well, he's a scientist. <laughs> and also trapped, I guess. Sure. So door or air duct? Um, I think the door would mean that we could maybe go back here to go to the air duct, but I don't know. I honestly have some they want you to think. I know. It's like, it's really... I. Or we could do our nifty die trick. Let's do our die roll. Six. Six. So we're doing the second one. Yep. Crawl into the air duct. Okay. Story card 65. Okay. Mm-hmm. The air duct takes you over a loud room full of what sounds like a gang of rowdy hooligans. We're old. You peek through a grate and discover a group of massive savage chimps oh my God. sitting at a conference table, snorting and growling and beating their chests. I don't like it. A woman sits, woman, sits Bad. at Bad. the head of the table speaking to them, but you're too far away to hear over the chaos. There's a smaller, more rickety air duct that leads the wall to the wall by the woman. And if you're careful, you could probably make it in there to hear what she's saying. You can also see from here that the air duct splits off and terminates into two other rooms. The room on the left is a dimly lit, it's dimly lit by a glow of blue liquid and some large glass vats. The room on the right is pitch black. You could quietly crawl to either and jump out. Optional challenge. It's a speed challenge, which we have nothing for. Crawl through the rickety air duct to hear the woman. If we win, we draw clue 84. If we lose, we raise the danger meter by two and draw 71, which I'm pretty sure would mean that we would die. Yep. And we have a habit of dying early in these games. Very true. If we call, crawl through the left air duct and jump out into a room with the vats of glowing blue liquid, we go to 67. If we crawl through the right and jump into the pitch black room, we go to 83. So, pitch black ducks, um, pitch pitch black rickety duct, or blue liquid. An optional challenge, right? It's an optional challenge. We're at a three. I mean, I mean we might as well. I mean, if we die, we die. I know. We're still going to be it's set not level like three. We can't keep playing. Yeah, we're still going to be level three if we die. Yeah. And our danger meter goes up to two, which isn't the end of the world. Okay. All right, go for it. We have nothing to help us with this anyway. Okay, we don't get to go again. Every time it hits the... Uh, so we draw clue 71. Pretty sure we did. Which is not good. It's Pretty gonna, sure we it's did. It's going to be like the lady hears you and she kills yeah, you. Yeah, and the chimps get... You know, you fall through the... Vit, dr she fall through the, the air duct. on you. I, we fall through the air duct, right? You crawl through the rickety air duct. You feel like you got this under control, which means you don't. Yeah, you fail. Right when you're thinking about how impressed you are that you have these things under control, <sighs> you accidentally bang your knee against the air duct metal, which causes your head to bash against the metal, which causes your elbow to bonk against the metal. Then you fall. Let's use all the like onomatopoeia possible. But it's all against the metal. <laughs> then you fall out of the duct and into yep. the conference room. Yep. Landing on a large pile of bananas that break your fall. You're about to be chimp food. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Go to yep. story card 84. 84? Oh, yeah, we did. I feel like we this did. Is not good. Feel like we did. Um, there are more than a dozen screeching chimps here. Yeah, we're dead. Packed around a large conference table. A middle-aged woman is giving a business presentation to them using an overhead projector <laughs> and transparencies cover, colored, covered in colorful pie charts. Because who doesn't love a good pie chart? 
Chips certainly do. Um, who's there? The woman yells. She turns and turns to the room full of chimps. What are you waiting for? You know what to do. Oh my god, there we These go. chimpanzees are giant. Not even your karate training will help you now. What? In a choreographed movement, each of the chimps produces a long bamboo blowpipe. Remember the blow dart in the first one? Yep. Or in the second chapter? Points the pipe at you and blows into the tube with a loud thump sound. You immediately feel 20 pinpricks from 20 darts in a slow flow of poison through your system as you fall asleep forever. The end. Move back two spaces on the psychic scale. Okay, stuff's getting more dangerous. And uh, return to the previous card. Well, so that's this one. Yes. Is it? Yeah, that's a clue okay. card. Yeah, yeah. Because that one would just take us back to this okay. one. Um, those are very huge, angry manly chimps. Oh, and by the way, this lady looks like real, like, she has, like, latex gloves. Yeah, like, she's got them long elbow gloves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Never trust a woman. <laughs> so, so, uh, blue we, goo or pitch black? And we don't get to do the optional challenge again, even mm -hmm. though we came back to the card. Okay. I don't think so. I mean, do you want to try? I don't want to lose two on the psychic scale again. I don't know if it's worth it. We would raise our danger meter by two. Yeah, we probably would get some sort of premonition thing like we did. We'd probably get some sort of hint like we did in the dining room with the guys around the campfire, how we like heard a hint right. that told us not to go to Secret Passage, but we went to yeah. anyway. So I kind of feel like it would just be a similar thing. Okay, so blue liquid, pitch black. I mean, I don't feel comfortable with the black, man. But I feel like blue stuff has not been terribly nice to us. Roll a die. Sure. Okay. Let the fates decide. One. Okay, we're going to the room with the vats of glowing liquid. Story card 67. 67. You see rows and rows of glowing blue vats, all filled with chimpanzees in various stages of development. Oh, that's crazy. The largest ones are as big as adult humans. Someone is bending the laws of nature to unethical extremes down here. That I know how. <laughs> the vats are plugged into a utility box on the wall. Mm. On top is a glowing cap with three crystals. Mm. It might be some kind of power source. Something about this crystal and cap calls to you. It feels important. From the utility box, cords and wires run into an adjoining room through a propped open door. There's also a conveyor belt that leads through an opening in the far wall. The belt is moving slowly, and the motion is mildly hypnotic. Optional challenge. And it's a strength challenge. Pry the okay. crystal and cap loose. If we win, we get clue 87. If we lose, we raise our danger meter by two, but we may try again. Okay. Okay. And then we can make a choice below. Yeah, we gotta go for it, man. We need that crystal. Anything that says, like, we're calling to, that's kind of, a, yeah. I feel like that's going to be important. Oh, boom. Right. 87. 87. Crystal and cap. All right. I wonder if this goes with the rod, because the rod has that pluggy thing on it. Oh, sure. Um, you pry the crystal and cap from the utility box. Even unplugged, it keeps glowing. This object gives you a shiver. Your psychic senses tell you this is important. Move up the psychic scale three spaces. Okay, we're back to where we started. <laughs> um, finish story card 67. So, we can either follow the course through the door or jump on the conveyor belt to see where it goes. I feel like putting yourself on a conveyor belt is not a smart decision. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we just want to go through the door. Mm -hmm. All right, story card 72. Well, oh, keep this card. No, we well, keep that one? It's, it says, no. um, we might not need it later, but it says to keep it. It's just when we went against the queen. I think I put it there because it said to keep it. Okay. Seven, yeah, that's like some Orson Welles stuff. I know. In there. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> it's creepy. We're getting creepier and creepier as we like go through this yeah. story. Yeah, everything gets heightened each chapter. This room is filled with generators of every shape and size, and they all look extremely unsafe. <laughs> because everything else in this house yeah. looks totally safe. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yep, totally. In fact, one of the older, larger ones has a huge crack in its casing, but it's still running with a regular burst of electricity arcing, 
arcing from it to every nearby surface. Yeah, that sounds great. You'd rather not get too close to it, but you'll have to if you want to investigate the door to a vault on the other side. Uh-uh. Mm, 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 yep. Mm, mm, Good call on that one. Mm, mm. The only other exit isn't a door at all, but a massive hole in the wall that leads into total darkness. Seems like the best option. As you feel around the dark for a light switch, you discover that the passageway isn't so much a hallway as a tunnel with rough walls that have been dug out of rock and soil. If you try to get past the crack generator to reach the vault, which we're not going to do. Nope. Go to story card 68. Premonition. If you, if you take the tunnel into darkness, go to story card 87. 87. Yeah. I'm not, uh-uh. No. Mm-mm. It even looks like it's, yeah. No. Looks real bad. Yeah, no. Mm-mm. <laughs> nope. Hey, story card 87. You can't see more than a few feet in front of you as you walk down the tunnel. So there's a man's. So when a man's voice calls out from the darkness, you almost jump out of your skin. Hey, you. You freeze. What now? You're the new lab assistant, right? It's about time you got here. You have the briefcase? Oh, we have a briefcase. We do. You have clue 38. Give it to the mysterious stranger by discarding it and draw clue 62. So, yeah. Feel good about the year. Mm-hmm. Okay, discarded the briefcase full of money. Okay. Shady backdoor deal. 62. Pleasure doing business, he says. Even though you gave him what he wanted, he still spits on the floor and grumbles about his crew waiting for him in the garage as he hurries away. Your psychic senses tell you that giving him the briefcase was the right thing to do. Move forward two spaces. Whoop, whoop. Level, Level four. four. Um and then finish story card 87. Okay, yay. I feel like we did something right. Right. Okay, the man rushes back down the tunnel in the direction he came from, his footsteps booming in the darkness. There's a door with iron bars built into the wall there. It looks like it could lead to some sort, no, this is like bars, like a grate. Oh, okay. Lead you to some sort of uh, cell or maybe a kennel. Kind of like that. It's unlocked. If you follow the man down the tunnel, go to 81. If you open the cell door to see what's inside, go to 62. I don't know. Because we had bad experiences with the kennels. kennels. So our options are kennel or follow the man. Yeah. Because I feel like this was the vault in this room. Right, right. You're right. I mean, I kind of, I mean, I'm down for checking out the cell door, but it's, it's up to you. I mean, I mean, it might give us clues on how to save who's in the other cell, right? Maybe. I have no idea. He's going to the garage, right? Probably. You want to follow him? Sure. Okay. 81. Let's follow him. God, I'm nervous. 81. Hopefully we don't have to go back there later or, you know, maybe there's another way to get there later. whole point of this game. You find your way into a big automotive garage where dozens of unsavory characters <gasps> <We have> keys. <laughs> are engaging in at least 37 different felonies. Oh, that's a, good, that's a lot. It's a very specific, specific number, too. Yeah. If nothing He's else... a detective. He really that knows is a felony true. when he sees one. If nothing else, you have to admire their sheer industriousness. Hey, you're not the new lab assistant, somebody oh, shouts. Oh, no, no. You're a trespasser. No, no. And you've seen too much. No! Shouts to another criminal. I'm sorry! <laughs> it's okay, it's not your fault. We decided together. The criminals get into an argument about whether they should kill you with knives or drown you in a lake. The lake is too far, one criminal reminds his colleagues. <laughs> his colleagues. So they agree to go with the first choice. Yep, we died. Move back two spaces on the psychic scale and return to the previous card. Also, I'd like to, let's just unpack this here. A little bit like racially charged photograph, wouldn't you say? Well, you know, I mean, they just, they are really Rambo, <laughs> Rambo-esque there. Um, so we're gonna go back here, yeah. uh, which means we're gonna go to 81. Yeah, we had to move two. Yeah, we gained two. And... Oh, sorry, we're back to level three. So 81. I'm sorry, not 81. Oh. 81 is where we were. 62. 62. Yeah. 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 Well, I said there might be a way for us to get back to the grate. And there was. Yeah, there 
You slide open the barred door. It looks much more industrial than the other rooms you've been in. The door slides shut on its own. Clang. Not surprising. And you hear it lock behind you. Great. You see some kind of graded structure down the hallway in front of you and quickly press yourself against the wall when you realize two figures are guarding it. Mm -hmm. There is also a desk on the side of the room that's out of the guard's line of sight. If you are level three or higher, thank God, um, draw clue 80. I feel like the key might open the desk. Oh yeah, probably. Cognitive ice. Ooh, premonition. It's a brain on fire? A brain on fire. Well, that is dangerous. Fire brain. <laughs> We still have the explosion, too, which we might have avoided, and we don't know that we avoided yeah, it. Yeah. We can't be terribly certain, but... Brain on fire. I feel okay, so we can try our luck with the guards and go to 74, or we can sneak across the room to the desk and go to 63. I kind of want to go check out the desk first. Okay. So, 63. Let's get in those. Mm -hmm. You make it to the desk unnoticed. The only thing here is a fancy new computer. It's a shiny beige box underneath the monitor that glows with rows of green text and a blinking command prompt. If you can manage to break through the computer security, you might find some useful information stored in its internal memory. Optional challenge, and it's a perception challenge. Okay. If you're a level three or higher on the psychic scale, add one to your die roll. Okay. In addition to any perception challenge. Or strength okay, challenge. so if we don't have, we have strength and climbing, or so fighting we, and climbing. If we win, we draw a clue, if okay. we lose, we raise the danger meter. Okay, you want to try it? Yeah. You want me to roll? Okay, so we get to add one. Yeah. Boom. Oh, we didn't even oh. need that. Draw clue 66. 66. 66. Mm. So you can't crack the computer security, but then you notice an index card taped to the underside of the monitor. Written on the card is B at sign N at sign N at sign. Banana. Banana. <laughs> Could this be the computer's password? You try it. Boop. It works. <laughs> After a few seconds of poking around in some files, you learn that there is a very important prisoner being held in cell C. Okay. So we need to remember cell C. Because I'm pretty sure we're probably going to have choice of cells, and if we choose wrong, it's not going to be good. No. <laughs> so cell C. Finish story card 63. The one way out of here is down a hall to a gate, which is guarded by two chimps. And our only option is to approach the chimp guards by okay. going to story card 74. Okay, that's fine. At least we got some banana is the password, but with that signs, because it's more secure. Okay, the two guards are huge chimpanzees as tall as you are. They are walking upright, just like you are. They are wearing security guard uniforms just like you are not. I was gonna say. They notice the key, this key difference, they attack. Nope. Require a challenge, battle the guards. It is a fight challenge though, okay. we have our saber still. Turn over this card and continue reading. If we win, if we lose, we rate our danger meter by four and we have to try again. Yikes. So, I mean, I don't feel like using this now is gonna be that helpful because we're at a three. Right. So I really don't wanna use this and lose it right. if we have to raise our danger meter by four. Right. So just go for it. Okay. Boom, Amanda! Jeez! Once you defeat the chimpanzee guards, ooh! Once you defeat the chimpanzee guards, you find that the gate will only open with an electronic key card. We happen to have one. What? If you have clue 28 or 77, which we don't have 77, that's interesting. Hmm. You open the gate and go to story card 69. Doesn't say discard it, we okay. just had it. So, 69. You are now in a chamber with three prison cell doors. Okay. They're heavy iron things with small barred windows that make it difficult to see what might be inside. Mm -hmm. There's a ring of three keys hanging from a nail on the wall. Mm -hmm. C. If you try cell A, go to card 77. Nope, C. Yeah. C. So, story card 85. 85, okay. See? Remembering. Thing is, though, we're, if we go through this that early, this is not going to be good. I know. There's a lot of stuff. There's a ton. Someone sleeping on the cot in Celsi with a thin blanket pulled over their face. 
You can wake the prisoner up so you can talk to him, attack him before he can attack you, or just tiptoe out of the cell. If you try talking to the prisoner, draw clue 67. If you attack, proceed with the challenge. If you leave, I think we should do 67. Right. Because we, the... I feel very confident that it's going to be the guy. I mean, if not, that's a jacked up thing that they would give us this clue that we had to work for. You gently shake the prisoner by the shoulder. He flings the blanket from his face, and it's, it's an exhausted-looking man who's obviously relieved that someone has finally come to rescue him. Yes, okay. Thank you. I'm Professor Marsden. Yes. Texas. Marsden, you ask? Are you related to Henry Marsden? Yes, this was the estate of my ancestor, General Marsden. But at the moment, we have more urgent things to discuss. Go to story card 90. Ooh. Isn't there a bit of interest in what if he's going to become, like, a companion? Oh, like, he can, helps like, you do things. guide us. Chapter 3, goal. Achieved. Oh, that's... That was real quick. That was real quick. We're going to... Okay, we can twice. do story. We can do story return, though, but we're going to have to raise the danger. Yeah. Professor Morrison looked worried. You have to help me stop my former research assistant, he says. She's twisted our scientific research for evil. So she's responsible for all these chimps, you ask? <laughs> yes, he says. But there's something bigger afoot. I'm talking about the alien science. Marsden says he can provide all the answers you're looking for, but you must first make sure you're prepared to leave the section of the house behind. Mm -hmm. You can get he he give you he can give you <laughs> explicit instructions to important locations if you think you might have missed anything. Okay, that's cool. Story card, there are items in this chapter that will be useful, blah, blah, blah. So we can go to the biochemistry lab and raise the danger meter by three. Okay, so I think the biochemistry lab is where we got the crystalline cap. Okay. Because that might make sense. Okay. Or we can crawl through the air duct to the conference room. Which we, we didn't, did. But we didn't go to that door that was in there. Because I think we were weren't away from the door. Was that the conference room where that was? Or was, I'm thinking about the place where we saw the video. Was that the conference room? Or we can go to the printing press room, which we definitely haven't been to. Or we can go, no, the generator room is where this was. That's the generator oh, room. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. So I, I say we go to the printing press room because we know okay. for sure we haven't been yeah, there. Absolutely. So raise the danger meter by three. Mm. And we go to story card 64. This room features an odd-looking machine. Judging by the stacks of fake cash everywhere, it must be a counterfeiting printing press. Okay. Oh, and there's a huge chimpanzee here, as big as a man, wearing a security guard uniform. Of course. He's leaning on the machine and facing away from you, and he has a gun in a holster on his belt. Attacking him would be quite a risk, but then again, with all the crazy stuff you've seen in this house, you would feel a heck of a lot safer if you could overpower that's the other thing is that there was another item that we could have used besides the cash that we got right. from the second chapter. Okay. So I feel like this might be where we get that second item that we could have used for the guy. Right. There's a sliding barred door across the room that looks like the door to a jail cell, and it's partly open. Also, a rough hole in the wall leads into a dark tunnel. You're confident you could sneak into either one without the guard spotting you. Optional challenge, and it's a fighting challenge. Fight the chimpanzee guard. Guard. If we win, we drop through 63. Do we? Mm -mm. No, but I don't want to look back and see if that's the other thing that we needed, but I feel like it is. I feel like we would just, we would take money, maybe. I mean, maybe not. I mean, would, maybe not. I mean, there's money on the... So it's a fight thing? Yeah. So we can use this, which would mean that we only would need a two or better. Right. And then... After that, we're still going to have to make a choice. We can't try it again. We would just raise the danger meter by two if we lose. So what do you want to do? You want to go for it? Yeah. Knife, well. Bring a knife to a gunfight? That's what <laughs> yeah, we're going to be doing. Yeah, literally what we're doing. All right, we're using this for sure? Yeah, do we need to? No, nah, I'm just going to. Okay. I did it this time, Amanda. I'm so sorry. It's okay. We lose I it. I think any time we hit the cards, we don't do terribly well. We lose it. We lose it forever. We we lost. What was that? It was that that thing uh, from the last one. So um, we raise our danger meter by two. Yeah. Uh, so then, now we need to run away. We sneak around to the sliding barred door. I feel like we should go to the 
Or had but no, we've been to sixty two. Yes. So I feel like sixty two would be the better option then. Well, so we gave him the money, and then we had the option of either following him, which killed us, right, or going to the generator room, okay. which would just take us in a big circle. Okay. Because from the generator room, we went to we didn't go to the vault because we didn't we want to go to the vault, bad. and we went to like somewhere else. like we, everything else after that was kind of like one option. We okay. fought the guys again, and we did the stuff again. I feel like if I remember correctly, we had we went somewhere with the lady and the chimps and we fell. Yeah, that was in the dare duct. Yeah. And that I think that was after we died from Yeah, I just say we go to sixty two. I say we go to the door. I mean, because I know that I know okay. that tunnel is gonna lead us to somewhere where we've definitely been and remember. So sixty two mm -hmm. is the one where we got the premonition. So we slide open the bar door. It looks like in more industrial than the other rooms. The door show, closes with a clang and locks behind you. You see some kind of gate structure um, down the hallway in front of you and quickly press yourself against the wall where there are two fi figures guarding it. So we go to the desk where we have our luck with the guards where we go to 74 and then we go back. So we're gonna have to raise our danger meter by two again. We just made a big huge circle for literally no reason. So we go to 72 again, which where is 72? Or maybe we don't go. Maybe we, oh, I'm sorry, 74. We're bad. 74. Um, we have to defeat the chimps again. Yikes. So we have to. It's a required challenge to defeat the chimps. Okay. So we don't have our fighting thing anymore. We um, raise our danger meter by two. Um, after the chip, oh, it doesn't say do it again. No. Oh, well, we add one, but we still didn't get it, right? We had a three? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, after the challenge, continue. Yeah, if we win, we drop clue 66. If we lose, we raise our danger meter by two. After the challenge, continue below. The one way out of here is to... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. God, what am I looking at? Oh, I'm sorry. I was way wrong. I backtrack. I was like looking at the wrong card because I was confused. Um, turn over this and continue reading. Raise our danger by four and try again. So, yeah. We would need to go up one more, I think. And we have to lose two on our psychic scan. Try again. <laughs> We just need a three. Four. Four. Because we get. I read the wrong thing. Oh, oh no. One, two, three, four. Want me to roll? Yes. Okay. There we go. Oh, that was not good. Um, we have clue 28 or 77. Oh, yeah. We open the gate. We go to story card 69 which we've already been to, cellar doors, we go to C, which is 85, which we've already been to. Um, okay, so uh, we, go to, we got clue 67, which we already read, which took us to 90, which is the chapter goal. So now we're gonna have to raise it again to go back again. One, two. Yep. Um, so the only place I can think of, so, We've already been in the generator room for sure. Now we've been to the printing press, so now we have the air duct for the conference room, or we have the biochem lab. Do you feel like we went to the biochem lab? I don't know if that's where we were before. It didn't say it was a biochem lab. Let's go to biochem lab. I mean, it didn't say that we were in a biochem lab. What card? It is a different card. 78 which we don't have. So I was wrong the first time. So. Oh man, this is not, not, not doing too good for us. We lost our sword. The elevator drops with a jerk and continues to sub basement three. Okay, so that's where the biochem lab is, is sub basement three, okay. The door opens up into a room with tables holding funnels, glass beakers, test tubes, thermometers, and safety goggles. It looks like a biochemistry lab. 
It's a complete wreck, just like the elevator, so you can add biochemistry to the list of things the vandal has a grudge against. There's a desk in the corner. Oh, I'm sorry, you're supposed to raise our danger meter by three. Oh. So technically we also lose two, so we're back down to 10. There's a desk in the corner. Based on the pattern of stuff scattered on the floor, it appears someone was dragged away from it by force mm. and then taken out a door and down a hall. Mm. Another door leads into a room where you can see large glass vats full of glowing blue liquid, which we've been to. Come on, man. If you follow the path of destruction down the hallway, which I don't feel like is a good idea, you go to Star Card 86, you enter the blue room. Right into we, the room. We've already been the blue room. Glass bats. We've already been there. We have to go to 86. We've already been to the other room. We're just going to go in a big circle. Like we're, We have tons but of cards. But depending on where 67 could take us. But I'm pretty sure 67 is the blue room where the chimps were. And then when we went down there, we literally only had, like, we got the crystal. Okay. And then we had that little, we had that tunnel. And the tunnel took us to either the grate or the deal. I really think that we need to follow the destruction. 86. Yes, yeah, I really think we need to follow the destruction. I don't want to, but I'm nervous. I think that we have to. If not, I'm, this is going to be like the worst chapter yet. <laughs> As you look at the scuffs, broken objects, and smudges of blood, you're positive that someone was dragged down this hallway. The trail ends inexplicably in the middle of the hall. Was the person picked up and carried the rest of the way? There are three doors here. You can hear a soft hum of machinery coming from behind a green metal door. A wooden door is partly open and looks like it leads to a break room. There is nothing but silence coming from inside. The last door is closed tight, but the room behind it isn't anything close to quiet. In fact, you can hear the frenzied cries of very large animals. Mm. There is a window on the door that has been broken with cardboard taped over it. Premonition. If you're a level three, which we're not anymore, we would draw 74, but we're not a level 3 anymore. Just barely. Oops. So. I don't want to know what that permission We go to the machine room, mm -hmm. the break room, or the screeching beasts. Oh, I feel like. I kind of vote for the machine room. Okay, because I vote hard no to the screeching yeah, I beast. Yeah, I vote machine room 72. Maybe we can get up on our psychic scale and come back here. I mean. We've already been to 72. Oh, no, we have. Is that the generator room? Yeah. Or there's a machine here with a weird noise. Yep, that's the generator room. Are we going to go to the vault? I mean, we didn't want to go to the vault, but... Wait, this vault? Well, it says try to get crack past the crack generator and reach the vault. Mm -hmm. If not, we go to the tunnel, which is 87, and then we go back down. I mean, we're like going in a huge circle. We're just... But wasn't... There were more options from the tunnel, weren't there? The tunnel... There were like three options for the tunnel, and we took one and died because we fell. Yeah, but then we went back to where we were. Right. So we follow the man. So if we go to the tunnel, we follow the man down the tunnel, which is where we die. Or we go through the cell door, which takes us to 62, which would take us back to where the guards are. Right. So, I mean, it's kind of like the only thing that's different would be the vault. I mean, because then we're going to have to go through fighting them again and doing all that again and then have three more danger go up mm -hmm. and possibly lose even more psychic ability. I'm so nervous. I mean, it's, it's up to you. I don't, I don't know. I feel like it's a bad idea, but I, I mean, I, I think we got really lost in our story this time. Yeah, we've, like, we've just been going in circles, like, over the same cards over and over again this round. It's been real tough. <laughs> it's been really, really, really tough this round. Because we went to the machine room, which we didn't know that we had already been in because it, we, it was called the generator room before, but we just mm -hmm. didn't know it was generators. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's a bad idea, but... Okay, I mean, we can go down the tunnel. 
And we go down the tunnel, then we go, we don't follow the man, because we know that leads to death. So then we go to the cell door, which is 62. Um, we try our luck with the guards, which is 74, because we already went to the desk. Um, we have to do the battle. So. Which means that we have to get a three or better, and we have to raise our danger meter by four and try again if we don't win. And then we're going to gain three danger when we go back to where we were again. And we don't really have an option. I mean, I'm okay with not going to the vault because we just might die. And we have to go back to that card anyway and then do it all over again. Either way, this time with less psychic ability than what we already have. So, fighting the guards? I guess so. Oh, this has been a tough... Oh, oh. That was by the skin of our teeth. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we fought the guards. We have the key card, which means we go to 69, which we've already been to. We go to cell C, which is 85, which we've already been to. We talk to the prisoner, which gives us clue 67, which gives us story card 90, which gives us back to our goal achieved. So now we're going to go back to the biochemistry lab, which is 76, where we were before, or 78. Um, we decide that we want to go down the destruction which is 86, which is where we are. Okay. We're still not a psychic level three, so we don't get the clue. Mm -hmm. But now we want to go to the break room or the screaming beast. And if you don't want to go to the screaming beast, that means we need to go to the break room. I leave that up to you. I mean, I'm okay with going to the break room. Okay. It's silent in there, supposedly, which I don't know if that's a good thing. Yeah, but. let's just go to the break room, which is 66. I mean, I guess if you had, like, a memory that was really good, you could remember all of the numbers of cards that you've already been to and what they're associated with, then this would be great. <laughs> but we have terrible short-term memories. And also, I just get lost in it. Yeah. <laughs> At first glance, this seems to be a perfectly ordinary office break room with a coffee machine, particle board tables, and uncomfortable plastic chairs. But on closer inspection, certain details seem off. An employee manual features a chimpanzee in casual business attire on the cover, and the workplace safety posters Ugh. show chimps rather than humans lifting boxes and climbing ladders. There OSHA! Are, <laughs> there are two doors in this room, other than the one that you came in. The closed one, labeled water closet, isn't that what bathrooms are sometimes called in England? Yeah. And other parts of Europe, not just England. And an open one that leads into a completely dark tunnel that seems to have been dug straight into the earth. Again, the tunnel. Reaction. Okay. Take some coffee, or to take some coffee with you in a thermos, you found draw clue 59. Why not? Why not? I'll take some coffee. I mean, that he might help us. It. He's probably a It's a free exhausted. action. This extra focus provided by the sudden boost of caffeine can give you a re-roll on your next challenge. Discard to re-roll a die. Okay. Keep this item and finish story card 66. Okay, okay, okay. So, we have two options. Go to the water closet. We've already been to the tunnel. Or head into the dark tunnel. Yes, so water closet. Story card 76. I'm really wondering how we proceed. There's so many clue cards that I we know. haven't seen. It's like, where are we missing all of these from? Once we've gone through all of the chapters. Yes, like, we're totally going to like yeah. just go through everything. <sighs> You're glad to find a bathroom because, honestly, you really have to pee. Oh, God. You're less pleased when you open the door and discover that you're not dealing with the bathroom at all. This water closet is actually a closet completely filled with water. <laughs> a wave crashes over you and slams you, um, slams the door behind you. Quickly Jeez. filling the entire break room, the water just keeps coming and coming way more than any one little closet should hold. Eventually, you drown. On the upside, at least you finally get to pee. Move back two spaces on the psychic scale and return to 66. Yikes. So we have to go down the tunnel. Yeah. Which is 87, which we've already been down. This chapter is really, 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 really ticking me off. Just wait until we get to chapter 4. We've already been here. This is the tunnel again. And we go to the cell. And we go to 81 because we've already been to, I mean, we don't follow the card because we've already done that and we know that leads to death. Uh-huh. So we go to 62, which we aren't level 3. We aren't even close anymore. We've all, we need to try our luck with the guards. We have to go to 74 because we already cracked the code. We have to challenge them again. This is like Groundhog Day. Thank okay. you, Amanda. Okay. So we challenge them again. 
We go to 69 because we have the key card. Should we not go to cell C? I'm wondering that too. I should we go to try a different cell? I mean, we just went straight there. You want to try cell A this time? Let's go to A. 77. I mean, we might as well try something different. Because that might be the only variation. I mean, maybe. We might as well just try something different. I mean, that's very true. Okay. There's a sleeping figure in cell A, curled up with his back toward you. You can wake up the prisoner and try talking to him. Attempt to subdue him before he gets the opportunity to attack you, or just leave. Choose one, then continue. So we know it's not the guy. Right. So we don't need to wake him. So it's either fight him or leave. And leaving wouldn't get us anything. It would just take us right back to where we were. Correct. If we try talking to him, we draw clue 65. If we attack, proceed with the challenge on the back of this card. Talk to him or fight him. I mean, he's also a prisoner, but I don't know what that means. Should I look what the challenge on the no. card? Okay. Die roll? Yeah. One through three, we talk? Yep. Yeah. We're not talking. We're fighting. So we attack him. Yep. Okay. Require a challenge. We don't have any little fighty handy things, do we? Nope. We lost it. Attack the waking prisoner. If we win, we draw clue six to four. If we lose, we raise the danger meter by two and go back to story card six. So 64 either way, but 64 on the other side too? 65. Oh, okay. We won. All right. So 64. These be the better of the options. I'm worried that 65 was the one to get. Candy bar. Oh. After giving the prisoner a good thrashing, you find a candy bar in his bunk. It's filled with caramelly, nuggety, peanutty goodness. It's a Snickers. <laughs> Discard any time to lower the danger meter by four. Ooh, that, that is good to have. So we have coffee and a candy bar. We have a snack and a drink. Finish story card 77. So that means that we can go to cell B now if you want. I don't know. I feel like out of three cells, like if two were good, I'm nervous. I don't know that cell B Well, I mean, good. the only thing is that if we go back to his cell, yeah, we have yeah. to raise our danger meter by three again. To go anywhere else. And then we raise our danger meter by three again. And okay. that, the only place that we haven't been from doing that is, so is well, no, the only place we haven't been from going back is the Vault. conference room. So the conference room. The conference room, room had that, that door yeah. that we didn't go into. Okay. So we either can go to cell B or we can go to him, raise our danger meter by three, and then go back. We can always lower our danger meter in the future the bar, if so. we want to. I feel like if you have three cells and two of them yielded positive results. Okay. I just, I don't trust this game enough. That's fine. Okay. We can go to cell C. Okay. So cell C is, which one? 85. 85. Okay. Which takes us to 90 because we know that we're not going to fight him. We're going to talk to him. So raise the danger meter by two. Wait, three. Three. It's three this time around. So now we're going to go to the conference room, which is 65, which I think is kind of where we started. It is. So on 65, that's totally like a chimp looking thing too. This totally looks like a chimp. Yeah, it does. Because what was the one where he's at? See, he doesn't have a picture on his. Okay. That's interesting. He doesn't have a picture on his. But that dude totally looks like a chimpanzee. a chimpanzee. Yeah. So. I'm glad we didn't wake him. Yeah. Probably would have mauled us too. Okay. So if we're going to do this and we're going to go um, through the duct. Oh, no. Okay. So this is the duct. So we either crawl through the rickety deal, mm -hmm. which we don't want to do. Right. Or we go into the black room, which is 83. Is 83 in there? Please say 83 is in there. Please say 83 is in there. It is. Oh, thank you, Lord. That was about to be like, no. <laughs> the room is pitch black. You can't see anything except the faintest hint of illumination coming from a door on your left and what might be a stack of boxes next to it. Feel free to fumble around for a light switch if you'd like. Optional challenge. Next perception. Search for a light switch. We win, we go to story card 89. If we lose, we raise the danger meter by two and we don't try again. And then we have two choices below after that. What are the choices? Go blindly through the door or blindly inspect boxes. 
we want to turn perception. I don't know if we have a nine. I don't know. I don't know if turning on the light switch is a bad thing or not. I feel like if we turn on the light switch, I think the light switch would help us if yes. we had a premonition to deter us from doing one of the two. Do you want to but try? Other, otherwise, I don't think the light switch could Well, hurt. if it goes to 89, it could mean that we can actually see the room, which means right. we might be able to search the room. Right. I kind of vote that we do it. Okay. So we need a four or better. And we do have the re-roll. Yes. So, yes. Okay. I don't want to use it. Don't you have it. Okay. <laughs> You're going to use the re-roll? I guess. Because we can't try again. Do you want to? Do you want to use it? Yeah, I mean, okay. we can't try again. Okay, I'm gonna try to speak off. The Wait, marks. this goes to 60, 86. 66 or seventy-five. Okay, well, this came from sixty-six, so it oh. came from the break room. So sixty-six is the break room. Really? Yeah. This so. says finish short for sixty-six. This was this came from the break room. Right. So re-roll it. So do you want me to re-roll it or do you want to re-roll well, it? Well, if we know that this is the break room, we don't need to go there. But I'm saying no, but this is eighty nine. So this might oh, open up right, a right, completely right. different thing. You're right. You're right. I mean, we're going for broke this round, man. <sighs> okay. Put you on card eighty nine. 89. You find a switch, and with the lights on, you can see that you're in a small, cramped laboratory. Jars and beakers full of mysterious liquid cover every flat surface. You're lucky you didn't stick your hand in a jar of acid, or worse, while searching for the lights. Now you can clearly see the door and the stack of boxes. Also, you can now see a ladder hanging down from a trap door in the ceiling. Unfortunately, the lowest rungs are missing, so there's no way to climb it if you only had a wooden dowel that fits into this ladder. If you have clue 23, which we don't. You can climb the ladder and go to the story cart 80. Dang, so we can't even do that. If you try the door on your left for the 66, well, we know that we don't want to try the door on our left, yeah. so we want to go through the stack of boxes, which is 75. 75. So that would be good if we had the rungs, which we don't have, which I don't know how I would get them. Some clue we didn't win a challenge for. We're almost out of cards. Yeah, we have, we have all so, so many clues. <laughs> The moment you touch one of the boxes, the entire pile collapses and you lose your balance, tumbling into an adjacent room. All the boxes were empty. Someone went to a lot of trouble to hide this chamber, but seeing mm. as you found it completely by accident, they clearly did a terrible job. <laughs> this appears, Shade. <laughs> this appears to be some sort of workshop. There's no one in here now, but a large egg-shaped vehicle takes up most of the room. You can't tell if it's a boat or if it flies. It looks like someone is repairing it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. There seems to be a lot of commotion coming from a garage. Mm -mm. There's also a door that looks like some sort of jail cell or maybe an animal pen. Ugh. Optional challenge. Search the egg ship. If you are level two or higher, okay. add one to your die roll. Um, okay. If we win, we draw clue 61. If we lose, raise the danger meter. I think that that's gonna be important, man. That's all the alien stuff, remember? Yeah, and we don't get to try again. It's an alien spaceship. Okay, well, we can lower our danger meter by four, but it's only going to take us to a three. But that gives us a 50-50 chance versus right now we have about a... Mm -hmm. Two, six for a chance, so it's a third of a chance. I can't believe you wrote it out wrong on the list. <laughs> do you want me to do you want to eat the candy bar? Or do you want to Because we know that the garage is not gonna be good. Right. Haven't we already been to 62? It's the jail door. I think so. Yeah, we're going in big circles right now. Like I don't know what all those clue cards go to, but I'm really annoyed. <laughs> Because we're almost at a location cards. Yeah. So I feel like we probably do just need to go ahead and do it. Because okay. So the question is, do you want to use the candy bar to lower our danger meter? One, two, three, four, down to a three. Like a low three. Do you feel like that would be necessary for us? I mean, if we lose, we don't get to do it again. Right. And we our danger meter would be up here. Yeah. But if we lose, we don't get to do it again. Right. I mean, this is our one, one shot. Right. 
And right now we have only a third of a chance of rolling it. We don't have any additional help. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to use the candy bar. Use the candy bar. So how many? Four. Four. You want me to roll it instead? Yeah. Don't get that. Me. Oh, oh, she happy that we got that candy bar. Yes. Oh, so stressful. So stressful. It's an alien notebook. Oh, um, you see symbols on the vehicle's control panels, then a notebook with the same symbols. Someone has scrawled translations in the margin. Keep this item. Move forward one space on the psychic scale. And we, oh, we get one more perception. Oh, look at that. That was really good. Look at that. And um, we're still not a three, though, so that's kind of poopy. And then which one is the not garage? garage? Uh, the jail door is 62. Um, what was the other one? 81? Yeah, that would have been definitely the garage where we died. Mm -hmm. Um, we have to try the guards again. We don't have an option. So I guess we're going to be done after this, right? I mean, mm -hmm. like, there's really nowhere else that we can go unless we could make it to the deal. Yeah, unless, because I don't know if we'll come across anything new that would get us yeah. up to on the psychic scale. Yeah. Um, this chapter has not been my favorite chapter. I'm going to do no. that right now. No. So go ahead and uh, we'll challenge the guards again, I guess. I mean, uh, brains it by four. And we have to try it again. Okay. Wow. This has been so frustrating. I do not like it. We're going, are we going to cell B or are we going to cell C? We can go to cell B, check it out, and we can always leave. Unless we just die immediately when we walk through the door. I'm defaulting to you. 73. Give it to me. <laughs> I'm so annoyed at this chapter now. I'm like, I don't care. It's a short card. Search all you want. There's nothing here. It's empty. It's literally empty. Continue on the Mac. So it's only A or C that there's stuff at anyway. So then we go to 85. And then we go to 90. And that is it. Because the only other place that we could go from here is the air duct. To right. the conference room, which would take us to 65, and I'm going to, just for giggles, which would take us to the great, yeah, this again. So that's it. That's it. That's over. It's done. Look at all the stuff we didn't get. I don't know how. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. That's bad. I really don't know. I mean, I don't know. They could just be part of the story. I mean, one of them was a premonition, mm -hmm. you know, one of them was stuff. Yeah, so that's it. That's bad. <laughs> I feel like that's crazy. Yeah, that's all. That's all she wrote. Well. So, I feel like I can safely say that this was not my favorite chapter by three far. <laughs> I was really annoyed. I mean, we went through almost all the locations. Yeah. And I was really frustrated because I felt like I felt like we went in a circle in the second chapter. Yeah. And this chapter, we like literally just kept going in a circle. And that was really, really frustrating. I don't I don't know if it was just some choices that we made early on that I don't stuck know. us in that loop or if it was like engineered to be this frustrating. Yeah. Like but did not care for it. Because we were on the almost to set level four and now we're Back. Down to like the bottom, the bottom level, half two. Of level two, and that's really frustrating yeah. because we worked so hard. We got to use like one of no, well, we use the key card and we use the money, so we use like two of our items, mm -hmm. and we gained the cap, and we use the in the notebook, and then we use the two items that we gained because we had to, or else we would have been even lower. Yeah, so this, this cost us eight 
places on the psychic scale. Yeah, this, this chapter alone. Cost the only thing lots. that we really got was one premonition because we were too low to get the second one. Yeah. So we have one premonition that's like a brain on fire, and that's it. And yeah, I'm a little frustrated at this point, to say the least. So, um, I hope this doesn't set the tone for chapter four and five because we have two more left. And if anything in here was sorely needed, well, like the dowel, which, yeah, no because idea what that we was. We couldn't explore any of like what, whatever else was in there. Yeah, I don't know where all those cards come into play. I mean, this is just nuts. And I mean, unless I, I really don't know, I'm just perplexed and really frustrated. At this point. Yeah, so. I wonder if it would be worth just replaying chapter three. I don't know because we went to the basement. I mean, that's where the yeah. that's where the break room was. That's where the screeching animals were and the generator room. It's like everything just kind of circled back around well, over I, and over and over and over again. Because there were several challenges that did not allow you to try again. Yes. That was a serious luck component. Yeah. And we were just not there tonight. Yeah, we didn't have anything to really mitigate it. We lost our sword. It yeah. It was not a good night for us. No. We so. had to use a few different items. Yeah. It was tough. Um it was real tough. Yeah. So and if if you can't if you're not high enough on the psychic scale, you are automatically lose off lose out on premonitions and certain clues. And if you don't roll certain die and you don't have the opportunity to try it again because it doesn't allow you, yeah. you lose out on Whole different arcs and those that fight those some of those fights were tough they, yeah those were really 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 tough and and required we things. died three times yeah but still we died really early yeah. again and often so all right guys well let us know what you think let us know if you've played chapter three if you feel the same way that we did <laughs> if we're just dumb and we just kept getting stuck in this loop or if there's something that we completely missed somewhere yeah, if if there's some different route that you took yeah that we just didn't even see yeah it's it's been because i'd be interested to know <laughs> it's been a frustrating one so yeah thanks my meeps remember to like subscribe leave your comments below and let us know what you think Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>